you look really great. Yeah. You lie. No, no, you really look great. <laughs> so tell us about the trip. How's Dr. Reston? Oh, he's fine. Things are good? Yeah, you know. Uh-oh. What uh-oh? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> what? It's a tell. You got a tell. What tell? What's a tell? When you ask someone about their relationship and they touch their face, you know it's not going too well. Go ahead, ask me how it's going with somebody. Um, how's it going with the Alice? Good. Doing good. <laughs> and the higher up on the face you go, the worse the relationship is getting. You know, it's like, pretty good. Not bad. I gotta get out. How high did I go? You almost hit the nose. So what happened? Is it over? No, not quite. Why not? Well, he was my psychiatrist, you know? I mean, he knows all my patterns. He knows in relationships that I always try to find some reason to leave, and so he says, as my doctor, he can't allow me to do this, so he's not letting me leave. What do you mean, not letting you? He has this power over me, okay? I mean, he has this way of manipulating every little word that I say. He's like a Sven Jolly. Sven Gali. What did I say? Sven Jolly. Sven Jolly? I did not say Sven Jolly. George. Sven Jolly. I don't see how I could have said Sven Jolly. Well, maybe he's got like a cheerful mental hold on you. You know, I can't find a match anywhere. You know what you should do? You should tell this guy you're seeing somebody else. That's the easiest way to get out of these things. No, it's not going to work with this guy. No, you just tell him uh, an old boyfriend's come back into your life. I don't think so. Nice try. Took a shot. It's <laughs> a good cigar. There's somebody else. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nothing I planned on happening, you know. It just kind of happened. Tell me about him. Well, uh, there's not really much to tell. You know, he's just a guy, really. Yes. Well, I assume he's a guy. Right. <laughs> and you've known him how long? Years. Hmm. Many years. Um, <clears throat> we've been close friends, and then recently something just, you know, <clears throat> happened. You mean sexually? Yeah, yeah. Sexually. <laughs> I think you're, um... Excuse me. Yes. Oh, yes, Bobo. No, it's just east of Madison. Around four will be fine. All right, Bobo. See you then. I'm sorry. Where were we? Well, I was um, just telling you about this other guy. Mm. Elaine. Yeah. Do you remember your dream where you had a sexual encounter with a Chinese woman? <laughs> yeah. Elaine, I'm concerned about you. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't concern yourself with me because I'm I'm good. I'm I'm very good. I mean, I'm really very, very good. Elaine. Have you been urinating aloud again? <laughs> no. And how often have you been seeing um I'm sorry, what is his name? His name? Yes, his name. Um well, what's the difference? Are you afraid to tell me his name? No, no, I just, I just don't really see how that's relevant. Doesn't matter if you don't see how. I see how. Uh, his name. Um, I don't, I don't even know. All right, you want to know his name? I'll, I'll tell you his name. His name is Kramer. <laughs> Kramer. Is that his first name or his last name? No, I'm, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable talking about this. Elaine, I want you to do me a favor. What? I want you to tell this young man to give me a call. It's very important that I speak to him. Oh, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. You can do it and you will do it. No, I can't. You can and you will. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I'll have a 
to give you a call.